Hi guys, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. Welcome to 31 Days of Tarot, day six. Um, today's prompt is what tarot deck did you um, mark off your wish list for 2018? Um, so I had two of them in particular that I had on the wish list, but um, I'm only gonna show one because <clears throat> I kind of already spoken about both of them <laughs> in a previous video. Um, but the one that was probably the most exciting for me to mark off my wish list was the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. <clears throat> this is the original copy. As you guys know, um, I had obtained um, a version of the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, but it was actually a fake. So I had purchased it off of eBay. And I was excited. I was, you know, I was just like, oh my gosh, I got it for a steal. And then, of course, when it showed up, I realized this isn't a real copy of the deck. It was actually a fake. So it was very upsetting. It was very frustrating because it's like, why do people do that? Um, it was like someone took the images of the cards, copied and pasted them, and then printed them out. It was awful. But in the photos, they looked pretty legit so it was a little bit um it was a little bit frustrating um and um you know it was it wasn't a, a lot of money that I was out but it was still enough to be a, a little bit upset over you know what I mean so <laughs> um then later on last year um I was always hunting in the back of my mind I was always hunting for the oracle of the radiant sun I was looking on YouTube I mean YouTube I was looking on eBay I was looking on Amazon um I was looking all over the place even in the Facebook groups where they sell like they have tarot you know people who are selling or trading their decks I was looking there and I saw one pop up and so I knew when I wanted to obtain this deck, I knew I was going to be paying a pretty penny for it. It is not a cheap deck to find. It's out of print. Um, but a friend of mine mentioned that there is going to be a second edition being reprinted. So um, it's going to be coming out, I think, in March. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. But you could do pre-orders on the second edition through Amazon so I of course I already pre-ordered my copy but second editions you know you don't know you don't always know what you're gonna get they don't always look like the exact ver first version sometimes the card backs are different sometimes the card stock or the coloring or the images themselves something is usually different about a second edition for the most part so I knew um, that you know it would be great to get a second edition. It's a super cheap price. I think it was, I think it's like pre-order is like 25 or 20, $28 or something like that, which is a, not bad considering how much you see this deck for. Um, but the first edition is what is out of print. And you find it on eBay like for six, seven, eight hundred dollars, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I I wouldn't pay anything more than two hundred bucks for a deck, to be honest with you. Um, I just I just think it's like it it's got to be really rare and really one that you absolutely want to pay that much money. And um, you know, so everyone's different. Some people are deck collectors. Some people just want it because. They want it for whatever reason. And this was one of those decks where it had been on my wish list for a long time, probably since the beginning of my tarot journey. <laughs> so when I saw it finally pop up on Facebook and it was another reader who was selling it, I just knew that the, 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 the copy of this deck was pretty much 100% real. Um, and it was in really good condition. So it arrived in the mail for me. I was super excited. I was anticipating it. Um, but as you could see, the cardstock, the, the images are so much more, like as soon as I saw the deck, I was like, you could just tell the imagery is super perfect. The color scheme in the deck, um, the colors were much more muted than in the other copy that I had. Um, it was just obvious that this was the real version. And the thing that really drew me to this deck was just the astrology um, pieces of it. And just the artwork is so gorgeous. It's just different from anything that you've ever seen. Um, and, you know, I really like the mixture of astrology and tarot. I love the, the mixture of astrology in general, like in anything that I do. 
<laughs> so this was just one of those things, but it was a combination of the images and I would say the fact that there's astrology with the cards. So um, the cards are divided up by planets um, and just they just you have to know a little bit about astrology to understand it. Um, but the guidebook is really great. It goes in depth for each card. Um, I like to read with it intuitively. I've used it for readings for clients already. It's just my favorite thing. So when I obtained this deck, it was really nice and really exciting. And I tracked the hell out of it when it was on its way to me because I knew I could not afford to lose this deck in the mail. Um, I've lost packages in the mail in the past and it was like, nope, this one is not slipping through my fingers. <laughs> So I have the first edition copy of the um, Oracle of the Radiant Sun. It, it was probably and is still my most rare and most coveted deck that I own. Um, and I'm very happy to 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 say that I, I that I own one of them. So that is the deck that I obtained. Um, in 2018 that I was able to mark off my wish list. So yeah. That's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And go ahead and leave a comment below. Tell me what decks you obtained in 2018 that you were excited about. Um, and I will touch base with you guys tomorrow for day seven. Bye, my loves.